Hey, good afternoon, Scurry County. Um, this is Dan Hicks, your county judge. I'm here with Melody Appleton, your county clerk. And we're going to talk about some uh, voting and how the process is different this year and some different options for voting. Um, let me look at this. Um, okay, there I can answer. Um, first of all, I'm going to give you the numbers for the day. Um, active cases is 104. We have 388 that are recovered, nine deaths, and a total of 501 cases. So that's 10 new positives today and three new recoveries. Also, I'm gonna give you an update on the tax office real quick. They are closed until October 31st. I'm sorry, not 31st, 13th, <laughs> October 13th. Um, if you need to do registration, uh, the governor has given um, the order under uh, the disaster order that you have an additional 60 days to pay for your registration. So you are covered under that. If you feel like you do need to get your registration taken care of though, you can either wait until they're open on October 13th or you can go to a neighboring county and they can do your registration there. Uh, also, our favorite thing is coming out. Uh, property tax statements will be a little bit late uh, when they go out. I believe uh, Janice said they're gonna go out on about the 13th. So look for that uh, then. So, um, and that will extend the time too. If they're a little bit later, you get a little more additional time, I believe. I'll double check that with Jana later. So we're coming up on election time. Yes, we are. It's getting that time of the year. It really is. It yeah. is. Um, we are going to be the first time. It's actually our second time to use mm -hmm. the new voting machines that the county purchased. Yeah. Um, but we used them last time in the Democratic runoff. Yeah. Um, so this will be our first major election to use these new machines. Yeah. So we just kind of wanted to go over with the with people, um, let them have a little look see at them, yeah. and um, give them some dates that um, we feel are important dates. As far as when they, if they want to, if they do want to ballot by mail, okay, um, and things like that. So, okay. so if they do want to ballot by mail, when mm -hmm. do they need to? When do when do they need to get registered okay. for that? The last day to register to vote, to, it's just to vote, is yeah. October the fifth. October fifth. So that's next week. Yes. So you need to get in and get registered to vote. That's the last day. Now. Um, to get a ballot by mail, mm -hmm. the last day that we can mail it out, so it'd be the last day we could accept their application, okay. would be October 23rd. Okay. Now, in order to get that application, they can just call the office mm -hmm. or they can come by the office, either one, and we will mail it to them. Okay. Or they can come by and pick it up. Okay. Either way. Um, and anyone can come by and pick up the application for them. Okay. Uh, they can come pick it up the application and they can bring back the application to us. Okay, so someone can pick it up and bring it back for somebody. Right. Okay. Yes. Now, when it comes to sending the actual ballot back to us, mm -hmm. only they have to either mail it to us okay. or the person whose name is on the registration, that voter has to bring it back okay. to us in person. Okay. Um, but those are their two options. Okay. They can mail it or they can bring it in themselves yes. in person. They can't have somebody else bring it in for them. Right. Okay. But somebody else can pick it up. Okay. They can pick up the application for the application them. For them. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to be clear on that. And we will start early voting on October the 23rd. Okay. The governor has added um, another week to early voting. So we will do a full three weeks. Okay. October 13th. Uh-huh. Did I say something different? Oh, sorry. 13th. Yes. October 13th will be the first day. And then what were our two days? Okay. October the 14th and October 28th, right. we will have 12 hour days. Okay. They, we will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on those two days. And that's up here at the courthouse. Uh -huh. On the very first floor. Okay. So uh, we are helping out this year. We are doing the elections for uh, so if you want to early vote, mm -hmm. uh, you can, and you're in Hermely School District, yeah. Ira School District, mm -hmm. or you're in the city of Snyder, right. you can still come up here to the courthouse and early vote and do your general election voting all at the same time. Great. We're handling that for them, and so it'll all be on one ballot, so you can get it all done at the same time. Okay, early voting for all of those races. All we'll be, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I said um, the law requires that the city do mm -hmm. two 12-hour days. 
So that's, we will have those two 12 hour days, but anyone can come in and vote okay. during that time. Okay. So, good. and the, we have sample ballots on the web page. Yes. And we're working on getting those on the Facebook page. Uh, we just got to get them to the right people to get it on our Facebook page. But right now you can look at it at uh, the Scurry County web page. Um, we should have those onto the uh, Facebook page by this evening. So, um, so we've got a completely different setup. What were yes. You, what were um, you also, I want to let everybody know we are those that aren't familiar with the way we've done it in the past. We are countywide voting. Mm -hmm. So your early voting, as we discussed, will yeah. be downstairs on the very first floor. Now, on election day, right. you can go to the first floor. Mm -hmm. You can go to the armory in Toll Park. You can go to the north side of the Coliseum. You can go to Ira, to the Roy Solly Gym. Okay. And, or you can go to Hermely ISD. Mm -hmm. There will be anybody can go vote at any of those locations. And you don't have to be, it's not, you can't, it's not where you had to go to your district. To right. Vote. If yes. you are from Hermley or Ira or Fubana and you were near a different location yeah. near the courthouse, you can come up here to vote. You don't have to vote in your district anymore. Right. It's countywide. Right. You cool. can vote in, in any of the six locations on election day. All right, very good. And we'll post those six locations. Yes, also. I think they are on there. They're on the website They're also. On the webpage. We'll mm -hmm. put those on the Facebook page as well as okay. we get closer. So. Yep, that's where they're at for those. Okay. What else would you like to cover? Um, we can do a small demonstration. I'd like to kind of let people mm -hmm. see how the machines work okay. and what the process is. Okay. Um, there are a, a few more steps, but it's very simple. Okay. Um, so we can kind of just go through what uh, we have to do to um to vote when okay. they come in so we have two different setups here right now we have one yes. here in this one camera. this is our the scanner this is what will actually scan your ballot and count your ballot now let me come over here and also we will be giving these out at the polling place everyone will be able to pick up a q-tip and a sticker that says I voted. That way there will be no, no one will be touching these items but you. So that way everybody will be um, safe in voting. And this is the same machine that's back there, correct? This which, voting machine? This is the actual voting machine. This is the, the scanner that counts it. Okay. Okay. So this is what people will actually vote with. Right. Now what you will do when you come up, can it see me? You can see your hand. Yeah. Okay. You're good. <laughs> you'll get a ballot. When you come in to, to vote, they will uh you'll sign in on the iPad as you've always done. Then they will hand you, they will print you up, they'll give you a ballot like this, but it'll have a little barcode. And that barcode tells this machine which ballot to give you. So all you'll do is place it in the machine. And then you'll have an option to pick your language, whichever language you choose. Now, of course, on here we have what would be your favorite dog. You get to pick which dog, you know, your, your candidate. And then you'll go to next. Then you'll let, pick your next candidate and next. And you'll just continue through your ballot until you have answered all of them. Pick the ones you want. Now, it will then verify. And it'll show you which ones and if you skipped one. So if you made no selection was made on that. Oops, I didn't know that. I can do two. So I'm going to go back and pick another one. Now, there we go. We're good. Then you're going to, it'll tell you to print your card. It will then print out the card. It will then show. Go a little closer. A little closer? Yeah. Is it good? Uh, dip it down a little, maybe. 
Can you guys kind of see? But, but it will print out only the selections that you made. At that time, let's move this out of the way and I'll get back over here. <clears throat> After you've made that selection, it spits you out your card that gives you what you did. Then you will take it over to the big, there's going to be one of these at each polling place. You will then slide it in here and it will then count your vote. Okay. So we always will have an actual paper ballot. It will store it down here in a locked container in the bottom. But if there's ever has to be a recount or anything, we will be able to pull the paper ballots out and actually count all the votes. Okay. So it's not totally on electronic machine anymore. Um, I was thinking there was something else I was going to tell them. But now we were I can't. going to discuss the appeals court. What's going on oh, there? yes. On your mail-in ballots, the ones that are, I know there's a lot of people concerned that they haven't gotten their ballots yet. We are waiting on the appeals court to make a decision. Um, legislature in 2017 ruled to get rid of straight party tickets. They want people to have to go through and pick every single candidate they want to vote for. <clears throat> but at the last minute, some people um, filed a lawsuit in order to get that changed. Right now, it has now gone to the appeals court. We are waiting for that decision because if they do a stay of that, a reversal of that ruling, we will probably have to reprint our ballots and have our machines all reprogrammed. So I hate to send out all the ballots if I have to go back and then reprint them and resend them to everybody all over again. So we are hoping before the end of the week, we will get everybody's ballots out to them. Yeah. About so. two weeks ago, um, they made a ruling on uh, some individuals that should be on the ballots that weren't on the ballot. Right. Correct? And so there were some places, some counties that had to have their ballots uh, reprinted. Yes. Luckily, we had not, they had not printed ours yet at that time. So we were good. Yeah. We were able to get it on there and not have to reprint. And so that's what I'm trying to avoid the expense right. um, and the confusion of people getting a ballot and then all of a sudden getting another ballot. Right. Yeah. So that's why we're waiting a little bit just to be on the safe side. But we will get everybody their ballots in plenty of time to vote and get them back to us. And the machine that you saw a while ago, the way it is on the rollers, right. that is our new curbside. So if you don't feel comfortable coming in um, or you you can't come in, just pull up to the, um, I guess it'd be the east side. No, the west side. It'd be the west, yeah, side. west side. The west side of the building. Um, and we'll have a sign out there. We'll have a large sign and it'll have a phone number for them to call. Uh, then we can just roll that right out to the car. It'll You'll do everything like you will. We'll have a, a deal for you to put your ballot, and then when we get back in the building, we will put the ballot into here. Um, but it will let you vote right from your car. Very good. And we have one of those. We'll have one for every polling place. One for every, every, polling every polling place, place okay. we'll have one of those that they can roll out to, to, the, um, to the vehicles. Okay. So even on Election Day, they can go to any of their polling places and they'll be able to come out to your car. That's fantastic. I love that. Uh, there's so many people that want to vote that well, get out of the car. Well, they can't physically get out of the car. There's some that are still a little, you know, with the COVID. Yeah. Um, they yeah. don't want to go into a building because we could have some lines at times. Um, so if that's the case, we'll just let us know and we'll bring one out to you. Yeah. We're doing everything we can. Yep. We'll Trying to keep everybody safe. And once I say we'll be using the, um, like you saw me do, I'll, you'll, you'll get a little bag that has your I voted sticker and your Q-tip. And then when you're done, we'll have a trash can. You just throw this away. Um, and we'll have uh, plastic shields in front of the election judges on the table so that there won't be any direct contact with them. So we're doing all we can do to keep everything clean. Okay. Very good. I'm glad you mentioned that about the roller. Uh, voting. Yes. Because that uh, was something that I wanted to discuss in this, and I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. So. Um, I think there, it's going to be very helpful to a lot of people. Absolutely. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to cover? No, I think that's all. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, what the voting is going to look like. And uh, 
it's an easy process. It's, a, it's good machines, and we're ready to go. Uh, there was a comment that the flags are backwards. They're actually not. Uh, the camera flips the, the picture, so uh, <laughs> the flags are really on the correct side. So y'all have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Yeah, because see, when you're looking at that, I'm over there.